714, you see them all over Connecticut. We're talking eastern box turtles. But did you know they're being pushed to extinction? Extinction. If we don't make some changes, right, they could be wiped out forever. Here to tell us more and show us more about these eastern box turtles, a very feisty little guy here. <laughs> and I, oh, and this guy's feisty too. <laughs> yeah, Scott Tucker and six-year-old son, Race, right? And you guys are from Expedition New England. Scott, so you're holding, this is an eastern box turtle. What, why the name and what makes them unique? This is the most incredible turtle. I saw them when I was uh, being raised here in Guilford, Connecticut. They are getting whacked so hard by all of our vehicles crossing the roads. Oh, yeah. That we're trying you see to, it a lot. You do, and we're trying to educate folks that yeah. when they encounter a turtle, the best thing yeah. you can do is help it across the road. Yeah, yeah. I've done that, too. I've, I've seen them, uh, and I don't know if it was box turtles, but probably, and stop my car when I could and get them off the road, or even on my bicycle, because I see them all the time, yes. all the time, especially this time of year. Race, what's your favorite thing about them? Well, as that, when they're scared, when there's a predator, they, they go like this in their shell. They turtle, they go in, like, yeah. like, like a and hockey player who doesn't want to fight. Yeah, and this <laughs> one squeezes in so hard, not even any, a, not even a tiny little ant can get into it. Wow, that's amazing. Now, by the way, would, would, would he bite me if I, yeah. Okay, so maybe I should. <laughs> I right. got bit once. All right. Oh, that can't, that can't it's feel too possible. Count your fingers, right? <laughs> you know what? And, and I believe we have. I already, uh, I already uh, still have. Oh, all right. You already have all right, <laughs> 10, including your thumbs. Right, we, have a, we have a clip to show you okay. while we're just for a moment here. So have a look at this. Oh, there's no teeth, buddy. I know. But look at its nose. It's kind of like a beak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the eastern box turtle is a species that is slowly getting basically uh, removed from our habitat. It doesn't live in water. It doesn't live in water, no. It lives on land. So the eastern box turtle is is really getting decimated by our consistent and slow sprawl of development. Every time you put a road in, you will see where you basically, or a subdivision, you will see where these turtles once attempted to live they get pushed out they start crossing roads and it's very common to see them attempt to find a new habitat and they get squashed by cars that's uh, too bad that that's happening what can we do so one of the most important things we can do is support initiatives to buy open space large large tracts of land so yeah. these guys will have places to live amongst us yeah so preserves they are Preserve land. Yeah. Support your local land trust. Yeah. Get out and vote when you see there's a piece of land that can be protected in your town. Help protect it. And as you were talking about too, I mean, just act act locally. They you can get out of your car as long as it's safe to do so. If you see one on the road, exactly, and uh, help help them safely across the road. See how and sharp. So, uh, no, we have some things up on the screen here that uh, that you were saying that we should uh, do or not do. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing is never bring a turtle home and try to release it in a place that you think is better. Yeah. These turtles live their whole lives in the side, in the size of what a football field in area would be. Yeah. They yeah. know it like the back of their claws. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so that's number one. Number two is really pay attention when you see a turtle, no matter how big, how small. Which way was it going? Yeah. Don't put it back to the place Where, it was coming it's from. Start all over again. <laughs> start all again. The road mortality rate for turtles is just through the roof. Yeah. It's through the roof. So oh, it's gotta help. It is. Yeah, and they're beautiful creatures. Just absolutely amazing and so gentle all, all at the same time. All right. So you know, and you were talking also on the screen. We were talking about, of course, help them cross the road and also support those local land trusts. Exactly. All right, Scott and Race Tucker. Race, will you give me five. Good, you have all five still. Don't put your fingers up in your <laughs> his mouth, right? Yeah, I know. Right, very good. No, I know because I got bit once. Yeah, once is enough, right? You learned yep. that lesson the hard way. I'm not that smart. I could probably do it three, three or four times before I've learned my lesson, right? All right, for more information, you can log on to our website at WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section. And, uh, of course, Scott Race, thank you so much for being here. Erica Martin. Good morning.